Hello and welcome to the channel. This is Danger Dead and today I wanted to just talk a little bit about uh, uh, some of my cards uh, that I have and uh, some upcoming openings that we'll probably be doing. Uh, I've got a number of uh, sealed boxes that I've had hanging on to for quite a while. Uh, some newer ones and uh, you know, I just kind of wanted to give you an idea of some of the things that uh, uh, we'll be doing coming up. Uh, starting with some of the old cards that we have. We have an old sealed OPG box. Uh, not a lot in there, but you take a look at the price there. 45 cents for a pack of cards. That's pretty amazing. And I think this has the bubble, yeah, it has the bubble gum in it as well. Uh, I can't remember the cards you're going to get out of this. Uh, I do believe that there are some uh, uh, the Russian cards and uh, Fedorov. And, uh, but anyway, nice, some nice OPG uh, to get us going at some point. Uh, these are the cards I kind of grew up on is the, these and, and earlier. Uh, opening those from the ones that I remember and so I still that's why I kind of still have a soft spot for OPG today now I do have some of the dreaded score hockey cards here as well that uh, well I might open I don't know there's not a lot in here I mean you could find uh, that rare Lindros card, I suppose, but uh, yeah, it might be fun to open them up at some point. Anyway, we'll see. Then I also have some Upper Deck 9091 Series 1 and 9192 Upper Deck that uh, we could crack. And this one, um, you could get the Jaeger, I guess. Uh, who are some of the other ones? Uh, Bell 4, I can't remember them all. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so we'll probably open those up. Might be fun to see what's in there still. And then the 91-92. Those I do not remember much about. And who's going to, which cards are in there. But, uh, yeah, we'll probably open those at some point too and see. I've got some 94, 95 Upper Deck SP Hockey that we can we'll open as well. 32 packs per box, 8 cards per pack. Don't have the odds, oh, maybe there. So die cuts. those um i guess i can let's see so we've got those i've even got you know, some, here's some newer stuff some 1920 upper deck series two cards we can open Seventeen eighteen upper deck series one SP. Uh, I really like these cards. 1819 SP. Five cards per pack. So it'd be fun to open those. Some 1819 Upper Deck Hockey. I have a lot of young guns to chase. Another 1718 Series 1. As I mentioned before, I have some more OPG, a hobby box, or I mean MVP, hobby box of 1920 series. And then the one I'm really looking forward to is the 1516. Unfortunately, it's not the series one uh, with the McDavid chase, but 
there is still a McDavid canvas in here that we could get, a rookie canvas, and some other good rookie cards that we'll be hunting for, so looking forward to that one. We've also got some old baseball here that I may open up. Back, uh, back when OPG was, hockey was really the only thing around, I guess I used to delve into the baseball and to the football cards a bit more because, uh, well, I just wanted to open packs and there was no hockey, so I would open up uh, the other ones. And I'm not even sure why I bought these at the time, but uh, I liked sealed boxes and so I bought a few of those. Well, we've also got some Yu-Gi-Oh! For those interested that we'll be opening. Got these uh, power cubes that um, basically mystery cards, I guess, kind of. So, looking forward to opening those. And of course, we've got those Pokemon cards that we'll probably open these Japanese sets. Looking forward to those. We have some other ones as well. So, yeah, looking forward to it. Got lots to open. I've still got. Uh, a number of things that are also on uh, pre-order so I'll be getting a lot of Upper Deck Series 2 cards that we'll be opening uh, some Allure uh, I can't remember all the other ones uh, but I also gonna be sending off some stuff for grading now if you take a look I've got some cards here that are graded now back when grading was just coming out as a thing, I thought I would send off some cards to be graded, uh, not knowing much about it. And I just picked some cards that I had kind of duplicates of. And I didn't really even send my best cards because I was afraid to lose them. And so when I got these back, I was pretty disappointed and I never really did much else with that. But as you see, I got a Brendan Shanahan 8, which is, you know, probably I guess a fair, I'm, I'm I'm not very good at creating these cards, but I've got you know, the Shanahan, I've got a, a Rick Nash, you know, back when I was collecting, again, it was uh, mainly OPG, and then all of a sudden all these other sets started coming out, the Upper Decks, and all these other cards in hockey. And, uh, yeah, I wasn't uh, too sure about, you know, how much value it is because, I mean, OPG, a rookie's a rookie kind of thing. So I sent off this uh, Be A Player Rick Nash rookie card. I don't know the value of it at all, but, uh, you know, I like it as a Rick Nash fan. And so we sent that off. And, yeah, it's... Again, not sure the value. It was a one-time thing that I did at the time. I got uh, uh, the Jacques Plante, got Mint 8. I do have some other ones that are probably in better shape. But again, I was a little worried about sending these off at the time. And uh, Larry Robinson, I'm not sure why. Now again, I don't know. Maybe the jagged edges and... Yeah, and, uh, I mean, it is off-centered, of course, but I've been thinking of maybe regrading, and this is the one that I'm most disappointed in. I understand it's off-center, but the corners are great, and the edges are great. I've really been thinking about cracking this and sending it back to have it regraded, because I do believe it's better than a 7. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you can leave me some comments. Tell me what you think. I should regrade this one. I'm a little nervous to do that. First off, I don't want to uh, hurt the card by trying to crack this open. And, and on the other hand, if it comes back as a 7 still, I mean, I've lost out. So I don't know. I might, may or may not send them off. But yeah, I just wanted a quick little video. Show you some of the things that are coming up. Some of the cards that we have. And... Uh, course we've still got our 
next opening of the rest of these MVP packs that we'll do at some point. But uh, just wanted to drop a note in between that and uh, let you guys know. Oh, I did forget one thing. We have a whole bunch of random packs hanging around that we're going to open at some point too. Some upper decks, different various years. Uh, this is the one I'm going to save till the end. Uh, be amazing if we had a McDavid rookie in there. Got some MVPs, some OPGs. So, a lot of cards to open up, some randoms, and uh, yeah, hopefully you'll stick around and uh, keep an eye out for us, subscribe to the channel, and uh, we'll hopefully have some nice hits coming up and some interesting uh, content for you guys to watch. Thanks, and we'll see you later.